I mean, uh, they're seven and one. Uh, they swept Alabama on the road, which is amazing, and uh, they've got a very solid club. So uh, uh, I know we better be ready to play and not look uh, ahead. We'll be ready every single game. Any injury updates on EJ or maybe Steve moves back to short stuff? EJ is still going to be out for Wednesday, and uh, he may be back by this weekend. I mean, uh, he's questionable for Wednesday, but I'm not playing on Houston. I think that way. He said he could play, but we can't rush him at all. Uh, Perez will still be at second base, and, and, uh, and I think it's a, just a cautious thing to leave him there so he doesn't have to make many long throws. How about Julian? Julian is available to play tomorrow. So he's back, and, and uh, the force is 100 percent. So it's big. Um, you guys have had two series so far, then this game, then Florida. I mean, entering Florida, will this be enough of a test for you guys, really, or is it going to be a, a little bit of a jump up? You think? Well, I mean, Florida's ranked number one in the country with all the polls, so they're uh, undoubtedly the, the most talented team on paper. They got a lot of guys back, uh, a lot of experience with the club, so uh, they're a very talented team. That no matter who plays, they better be ready. Do you treat this weekend like almost like a regionals, like a mini regionals, in terms of how you try to get the guys prepared? Not really. I mean, I mean, it's early in the season. I don't think we treat it any different than we do any other big series that we have. And, and for now, every series gets bigger and bigger. So uh, between uh, Florida and, and all ACC uh, series are good. We go and we watch teams at the bottom of the league like Maryland go to beat UCLA on the road two out of three, and this conference is getting tougher every year. There's, there's no gimmies in the league, and there's no gimmies from now on. Um, I know a couple of guys have struggled at times in the middle of the week. I mean, any sort of sign, rays of sunshine you've seen for some of the middle relievers? Well, we got to pitch better. You know, it puts a little bit more pressure on the middle relievers without throwing EJ because that moves, uh, you know, Ned to our, uh, Ned Colby to our closer, and it puts, uh, 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 Salas is our setup guy. Puts a little pressure on the left-handers, but the FAU has a lot of left-handed hitters, so uh, we'd probably go to the left-handers more than we would normally anyway. Anybody that's pleasantly surprised you, Tim? Uh, you know, Brian, as much as this is, he's club as he's got, he still has swung the bat more, uh, you know, better than anybody I've seen, you know, more than I thought of. And then uh, Esteban at third base has played extremely well, too, swung the bat. And uh, so those are two rookies that, uh, you know, I really feel good about. I think Dell's getting better at center, and he's hitting the ball hard. Uh, I, I think he's hit 300, but he's hit a very hard 300. He's hit a lot of balls hard at 300. And uh, so uh, our pitching's been extremely good, in particular our starting pitching out of everybody. So that's, that's, I don't want to say it's been a surprise, but it's nice to have. Eric was saying that the key entering the, the big weekend series is sort of to stay relaxed. He's going to tell everybody, you know, just stay relaxed, which obviously sounds sort of easier than it is. Is there any way as a coach that you can keep guys relaxed or get them relaxed going into a series like that? Well, I'll be honest, right now I'm not worried about this weekend. I'm more worried about guys getting ready to play Wednesday. So when we approach, when we get to Friday, we'll worry about Friday. I don't mean not to answer your question. No, that's okay. I'll ask you after Wednesday. I don't want guys.